Yo, it's your boy Marcus from Westney back on the video. Today we are doing the Why Warzone Mobile Sucks Battle Royale Edition. Um, you guys have been watching a lot of these videos on my channel because I've been doing them a little bit more recently because I feel like I want to kind of cover that for all of these games that I play. So here we are. Um, this is obviously the most anticipated mobile game of the year, I believe. Warzone Mobile, the successor to COD Mobile, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to be breaking down why the BR specifically sucks. We won't be going into multiplayer at all or any other aspects of the game. Just the BR. Um, <clears throat> and I will be including Rebirth and Verdansk together in this. BR as a whole. So without further ado, let's jump into the issues. Because there are plenty with this game. Uh, optimization. I'm going to go ahead and just brush straight through optimization. We all know it sucks. Um, it sucked on release. It sucks now. Um, this is how the game looks as of yesterday. So this is without me playing on like any sort of higher graphics. It looks better than it did before, but it's still not good. Um, and it, it needs to be improved for people to really come back and keep playing this game. It needs to get better, but I do think it, it's gotten better, but we need to see a tremendous improvement. And if you want me to stop playing Cobb Mobile and come play this game, I need you to, you know what I mean? You got to pick it up. You know, we got to expedite the process on this. So optimization, a clear issue that everybody knows exists. And the way they can improve that, fucking optimize the game. I don't know. Moving forward, mechanics. So touch players like me, I'm a thumbs player. I'm a thumbs touch player. I use two thumbs on an iPhone 13. Um, I'm at a massive disadvantage against like anybody, right? I'm, the, I'm at the biggest disadvantage against any player. So mechanics in this game being slide canceling, tax sprint, all this stuff. I hate tax sprint in COD, by the way. Uh, console, not console, mobile devices. Tax sprint in Call of Duty sucks. If I fucking can't stand it. Um, so I just want to let down, I just want to let y'all know that. Um, so as a thumbs player, tax sprinting on a mobile device, it's it's hard. It's a lot of work. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't like the mechanics. I wish. Maybe if I can dive in and make sure there is no auto tax sprint, but that would be, you know, kind of need auto tax sprint. So as soon as auto tax sprint would be where you just press the run button and it automatically tax sprints you. Um, I haven't seen that. I looked for it immediately when I downloaded the game, but that needs to be put into the game. For guys like me who are a thumbs player and actually most of your community who are casual, just thumbs players playing on a phone. You know what I mean? So I don't know. The, the actual mechanics of the game are bad already i don't like slide canceling and tax printing so i think that's already a downside and it doesn't help the casual player base moving forward controller players holy shit if you want to have fun playing this game use a controller because you will dominate any but you're at such a massive advantage as a controller player i got double bunny hopped uh, the game before this gameplay that you're actually watching by a guy. And I was like, that guy's on controller. Yeah, what do you want me to do against that? There's nothing I can do. Um, so, yeah. The, the mechanics for controller, you could just come over here and drop 40 every game. I don't know. It, I would be dropping 40 every game if I used controller. So, maybe I should start playing with controller. I don't have a controller with me, but maybe I should. Um, yeah. Huge. Putting a thumbs player with a controller player is absolutely mind-blowingly stupid. Um, they, they, they can't really compete. I can compete on like COD Mobile because I think they do have input delay on COD Mobile. I don't know. I don't think they do have like that much input delay on Warzone Mobile. Correct me if I'm wrong. If y'all know the answer to that, but right now, as it stands, controller players. I mean, you're broken. You're literally broken if you're a controller player in Warzone Mobile. The parachute system. This is a simple thing. I'm gonna get into more minute stuff as I go. Um, the parachute system is really annoying parachuting in and then like you're getting close to the ground but you don't want to hit the ground so i feel like i don't i don't really care i don't want an automatic parachute i just feel like it needs to be um altered maybe it's just my buttons i made them bigger so i'm kind of like maybe i'm just getting back into the flow um i'll show you all my combo record how much i've played i haven't been playing much but i played a few games to uh you know get back into the flow so i think the parachute system needs some fixing Weapon balancing, uh, this goes hand in hand with my other point here. Overall, double XP for weapons. Anybody who just got this game and downloaded it, we have no guns. We have no guns leveled up. We don't have our console accounts matching here, so we don't have any guns. 
So give us double XP weekend so we can get some guns leveled up. I don't like I'm not going to play your game until I have like double XP for weapons because I just I don't have time to grind through like I don't know seven hours of gameplay to get a weapon to max or whatever it is. Um, maybe it's not seven, three and a half, whatever. I'm not grinding for three and a half hours to get a weapon to max just to find out it's not even the meta weapon. You know what I mean? It sucks. So I don't like that at all. We need double XP for those of us who just don't have any guns leveled up. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's not a tough ask. Anyway, visibility. I will be posting a short today talking about visibility. The visibility in this game is ass. Whether it's the optimization or uh, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. The visibility sucks. Uh, I literally lost the 1v1 and I was staring at the guy. didn't even know it. And I didn't, I didn't realize I was staring at him and didn't even know it until I literally hit him with my crosshairs, the white dot in the middle of your screen, and it turned the red icon above him on, to which I immediately got shot. So, and I didn't have plates, I was going to die anyway. But, besides the point, um, visibility of players is absolutely nuts, mainly because the optimization sucks, the game looks like dog shit, and you can't see shit. So, um, fix that. That's why, like, people who buy those skins in this game, like, bought that big white Godzilla skin on the mobile device, thank you, bro. I can actually see you, dude. Um, so those guys are idiots. <laughs> You'd be better off just wearing a black skin, because I can't see you. But if you buy that big bright white skin, uh, you stick out like a sore thumb, I can't miss you. Anyway, that's just kind of funny. TTK, this is kind of, uh, it's, I'm feeling both ways about it. Sometimes I feel like it takes 950 bullets to kill someone. Um, that might be because I'm missing shots. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I sometimes feel like I'm missing shots. Other times, maybe I'm using like the WSP Swarm or a lot of these SMGs and they, they don't kill people. I don't know why they don't kill people, but they don't kill people. So, um, kind of the TTK needs to be touched up on the BR side. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just weapon balancing, which is part of something I already talked about. So, weapon balancing, TTK kind of go together. I don't really know why some of these guns are just complete garbage anyway game modes so i can't play solos on verdansk right now why not why can't i play solos on verdansk that's what i want to play mini battle royale solos on verdansk i love playing that it's a lot of fun um i can only play like solos on rebirth solos on rebirth right now is sweaty as shit that's the sweatiest mode you can play so why would i want to play that as a thumbs player on an iphone i would not want to play that ever um so yeah fix that i where's that at Plunder's in the game. I could not give a shit less about Plunder. But it is in the game. You can play Plunder if you want. Um, so, yeah. Oh, the friends adding system. This is kind of an overall issue. Um, like, people don't use their mics in games. So, finding friends is difficult. Not to mention, you know, it's like... I don't know. It's weird. The, the adding system sucks. So, if I play with somebody in a game of, like, multiplayer TDM or BR or whatever. Like, just let me add them immediately. Like, after the game ends up a leaderboard of all the people on my team leave an ad button there so i can add them um i don't know why that's so much difficult for these guys to do seems pretty simple anyway rebirth um rebirth map looks it looks good it looks just like it's supposed to look so i guess that's the pro um but yeah i'm not a fan of that um where was i oh gas masks um you're about to see right here, I have to put on my gas mask like it's 2019. Can I just already have it on? Like, before I go into the gas and just wear it? Uh, you can do that now in, like, Modern Warfare 3, Warzone 3 or whatever. So, why can't I do that? Um, and look at this. Player visibility right here, bro. I didn't even see this guy. I'm about to fly right behind until as I started flying at him. I was like, oh, shit, there's a guy in front of me. Um, so, yeah, I don't know about that, but that is kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I covered a lot of my issues with just solely the BR front because I do really think the BR is a good experience. I have really enjoyed it. It just there's a lot of issues that need to be touched up. I think if simply the map just looked better and it's easier to see people, that would solve a lot of problems. Along with like just give us a double XP weekend every weekend for like the first I don't know four months or not four months four weeks of release and people will be playing your game because they want to level up your guns and that's just. You only have three fucking multiplayer maps, so it's not like, you know what I mean? It's fucking embarrassing. Anyway, um, yeah, where's the mobile battle royale? It is, I do enjoy it. This is 
me listing off a bunch of things that suck about it but i do overall enjoy it myself i have played that a lot more i think than the multiplayer maybe not maybe i haven't but i do enjoy it more than the multiplayer whether i play it more i don't actually play it more but i do enjoy it more so yeah i don't know how many because i had nine or eleven or whatever yeah um that's pretty much all i got oh I, I just remember this. Buying a loadout. Buying a loadout is really hard. Can we stop that? Can we make it easy to buy a loadout? The whole fucking reason I'm playing this shit is to get my loadout and then use my loadout guns. Not so I can just fuck around with ground loot all day. Why is that? Um, by the way, here are the class setups I use in this video um, in case you're wondering. Yeah, so buying a loadout is way too difficult in all the maps and all the modes. Make it cheaper. It should be cheaper. It's hard to get money. Um with like teammates up and get teammates coordinated because nobody has mics and all this stuff because you know all the other issues with the game so absolutely need to make it a lot easier for you to get a loadout that's a huge thing <clears throat> i wish they would also make uavs last longer i feel like i call one in i ping one guy I go kill him and then the uav's gone so i can't you know what i mean then i'm just like what house was it over here that this other guy was at so maybe make them last longer for those of us who like to be aggressive and want to actually kill people you know what i mean like promote rushing instead of promote people sitting inside a house you know just fucking off the whole goddamn game <clears throat> anyway i feel like i've kind of carried on pretty much covered everything i wanted to cover anything i forget i'll cover in the multiplayer side <laughs> would i make that video steaming hot bowl of foreshadowing that's coming soon yeah so thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what you think sucks about Warzone Mobile Battle Royale. Um, and we can kind of talk it out because I know I'm not the only... I know I forgot stuff. A, people are going to say all kinds of shit. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for supporting me on the channel. And I uh, hope you all... If you do play Warzone Mobile Battle Royale, add me so we can play. Because when I do play this, I do enjoy it. And I don't have anybody to play with because nobody plays this game. So if you do play and you do watch these videos... Feel free to add me if you're in a if you're not in a I don't I already lag enough as it is. I don't need more lag. One of the last things I forgot to address, by the way, was the bots. Um, there are bots in, in Warzone Mobile and I know that they promised that there wouldn't be. But with the player base absolutely diminishing, it completely makes sense for there to be bots in the game. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.